Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome back. This is Blue Inferno here, and today we're going to jump into some Mech Warrior Online, and I'm going to be playing a small spectrum. I'm going to be jumping from the Locust all the way up to the Supernova and the Executioner, just to see what you guys think and give you a scaling of exactly the difference between a fast mech and a really slow mech. So I hope you enjoy. There's a lot of really smart, cool, badass, giant mechs I could pick. For example, the Supernova. Or one of my many well-accomplished executioners. Or maybe even one of my Novas, which I have a plenty. But today, it's Locust time. They're not even going to know what hit him. Reactor online. Sensors online. Weapons online. All right. Now this is the rundown of the Locust. You've got, uh, this is particularly the Pirate's Bane. It has four small lasers, two machine guns. Runs at, what is it, like 153 kilometers per hour instantly. And is... Whoa, whoa. Well, very small. So, <laughs> oh shit, I run into stuff. And very light. So, uh, if I get hit by anything, I'm essentially just going to explode. It's gonna be, it's gonna be great. I'll be going fast, too fast for them to shoot at. Faster than laser beams. Faster than light. Target acquired. Oh, never mind. Not. Oh, oh shit. Oh, that was close. <laughs> Not even scared. Going back in. Nope. Nope. Uh oh. Dropping UAV. Got to run like uh. None of that. Okay. Well, I found them. Um, I think I think the team's gonna appreciate that. Okay. Okay. Let's see. That's my get their attention technique. Now I'm going to use the absolute annihilation technique. I'm going to go so wide that none of them can even fathom how wide I am going. Okay. Shh. Everybody quiet. Ostra yeah. seems to be the closest. New target acquired. Sneak target up. acquired. No. I kind of I kind of don't want to sneak up on her because he's fast. Um. Fuck it. You know what? Let's do it. Nothing could go wrong. Uh, coming at me. Ha 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 What now? Run away! Okay, so now... I've got... Oh shit, what the hell was that? Okay, nope. This is... Hey, a dude! Look at that dude. Sneaky, sneaky. Guess what? What? Where did I go? Too fast. Too. Oh shit, he's back! He's still pissed. He's mad. Okay, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I didn't need that arm. That arm. That was my spare arm. You get out of here. I don't know where I'm going. Come back in. He's scared. No, he's. Look at him. Oh shit. And this is where I. Hey, I hope you cover me. Make my great getaway. Do, 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 do. Okay. Hey, you again. I don't even think he's hurt. Nope. Oh, oh. Locust Adventures. Hey, my sk look at that. My pilot skill rating equaled out. Clearly, uh, the game knew. Actually, I don't even think it can go down as long as you win. Now that we've tried out the fastest mech I have, and we've clearly seen my incredible skill with that, Time to play the heaviest mech I have. Oh, is it? Okay, it's time to play the second heaviest mech I have, because I suck with this one. We are jumping from the 20-ton Locust that moves at 154 kilometers an hour up to the 90-ton Supernova, which moves at 60 kilometers an hour. Well, wow. anybody out there? Yes, I am. Are you? No, I'm very fine, and how are you? This game type. Okay, now we've got a proper. We hey, I'm trying to talk more on Mar 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 Anyways, my main plan here is going to be to use my extreme speed advantage because I got the best engine that I can have in this baby. So we're going to be going at uh, blistering 
60 kilometers an hour and to outflank our opponents. You'll see. Blistering speed and gauge! Woo! Yes! Yes! Here, I don't know what kind of engines they got because because they're just mind-bendingly fast. Coming in hot. I don't want to go. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh wow! Don't don't go up there. Super speed backwards mode. Now that I got my weapons figured out here, we're we're going in. Oh shit. Ah, stop it. Oh, hey, yeah, a little dude. Oh, what the... You know what? I don't like it over here. I've come to find that I just... I'd rather a place with a better view, and it's, it's not here. Super speed! Ooh, that was cool. Don't know what he was shooting at. Ow. Come on, guys. Hit them from behind. Target destroyed. Ow. Why? Why do they hate me? I highly doubt I'll make it up here. Especially with that boulder in the way. Oh. There. Maybe I can just get the... Come on. Okay, that's that's not happening. Then... Oh, hey, he came to me. Hey, boom. Yay. Wow, he's just he's just eating that. Oh, ow, ow, ow! Oh, I didn't kill him, but uh, he definitely felt that. Hey, that hurt. Oh, oh, I missed. Oh shit. Um, I might have, uh, yeah. As you can see, significantly faster and far less damage than the Locust. I'm not 100% sure why this mech exists, but, uh, could definitely use to, uh, a little bit more armor, I think. A little less speed. <laughs> yes. yes, the last mech we're going to be trying out here is a 95 tonner, and uh, this is my executioner name. Executioner has a thing called mask, so you'll see a little red bar by my reticle, and that means that I'm using my mask to run faster or turn faster and things. Unfortunately, if you max out your mask at any point in time, it starts exploding your legs and it'll kill you. Let's take a look around here. I guess I don't... Oh, I got dog tags hanging there. Got my Cyclops war horns. And naturally, homage to Canada. See how my mask activates and I'm going 90 kilometers an hour? And without mask, I go 70. Come here. I guess the big question right now is where did they go? Oh, he's kind of close enough. I can poke him a bit. Oh, no, he's close enough. Fortunately, he's a really big target. Oh, that, that was rude. Screw you, bud. Hey. None of that. Mm -hmm. A little bit of chase in there. Oh. Gotta watch out for people who wreck your freaking party. See, he thinks he's hidden. Not for me, he's not. <laughs> you gonna take his leg off? <laughs> Target. Oh, oh, I didn't get the kill. Target acquired. Well, that's a, mostly a full health king crab, but I think he's kind of low. Oh, no. Not really. That's a storm crow. That's not good. They're fast, but I outgun the crap out of them. Unfortunately, I'm very short range. So. I'm gonna have to go the long way. Oh yeah, and I have jump jets. Surprise, motherfucker! Oh. 
Oh, that's what's hitting me. King Crab. Alright. Stormcrow ran away because he's faster than me. You're not. Okay, that's what's going on. You! Okay, I can't mask anymore. Because I lost one of my torso pieces. It's game on! I got armor on my back still, honky. Let's do this. Oh! Okay. This is our last surviving teammate. He isn't a mad dog. As you can see in the bottom left, his mech is completely unharmed. And he has a round amount of ammunition, so assumably he hasn't even fired his missile launchers. Um, go die an honorable death. Just go die, dude. Hey, see? The enemy has resource points. Yeah, just go die. Like, this is just going to stretch it out. He's just like watching that little dude off in the distance, just running around. He didn't do anything the whole game, at least do us that favor. The enemy has captured Epsilon. So, the epic last battle of Get PPC. New target acquired. You'll be forever remembered and go down in the history books as a hero of... What is this, man? I don't even know. Yes, get PPC! Yes, get PPC! Bring... the pain! Snap. That's about enough Mech Warrior for today. Thanks for watching, everybody. Don't forget to uh, like and subscribe below. Leave any comments if you want to see me do something else or anything of that nature. Until next time.